Hello viewers, this is Paladin of Odin, and this is some more Magic the Gathering Online. This is another episode of the Standard Commentary Series. Looks like White Weenie versus Obzon Midrange. And the White Weenie deck, he's in control right now, but he's in pretty big trouble considering he's top decking. And this Obzon deck has five cards in his hand. But it looks like that last turn, he played Valorous Stance to kill Siege Rhino. And then played Pacifism on Undergrowth Champion. He's got Anafenza Kintree kin Spirit and a Manifest Token. And Archangel of Tithes. That's gonna hurt. Well, maybe not. It depends on what cards he draws that he wants to play. Okay, he manifests with Mastery of the Unseen. Which means he can only attack with one creature. Which would be entirely pointless because it would get blocked by Archangel of Tithes and die. You have to bolster one of the manifest tokens. straight to combat, attacks with the Archangel of Tithes. Gets through for three, takes him down to eleven. Plays another land, a Shambling Vent. And plays Wingmate Rock. was a land. That's really bad for him at this point. Okay, he throws down a morph. And offends the triggers. I'm trying to think. White morphs. Uh, I was just about to say, Hidden Dragon Slayer. Flips the Hidden Dragon Slayer. Mastery of the Unseen triggers. Power 4 or greater. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That means... Yeah. It just means that you get to kill the Undergrowth Champion, which wasn't a threat. But he did get to put an extra 1-1 one -one counter on Hidden mm -hmm. Dragon Slayer because Bolster goes off of Toughness. So he has a 4-3 lifelink. problem is, is that uh, the Obson side of the field all has flying. And Dragonlord Dramoka. 5-7, flying lifelink, can't be countered, your opponents can't cast spells during your turn. All for six mana. He attacks in with the birds, gains two life, deals six damage. Kithian's tactics. Plus two, plus one until the end of turn. I think that this is basically just his last charge of the Light Brigade here. And 20 damage. And mm -hmm. Archangel of Tithes. You can only attack with three creatures. Mm
have you guys uh, seen the full spoiler list for Oath of the Gate Watch? Because um, one card that I've seen that is going to be really good for white, it's not, it doesn't provide as much power as uh, effects like this. It only gives plus one to power and no toughness boost, but it's cheaper. I can't remember what the name is, but it gives them indestructible as well. So I'm fairly certain we're going to see a lot of that card in decks that run white. Played an undergrowth champion and the other guy conceded. His manifest was a silk wrap. But you guys can see the application on either of these decks. Plus one, plus zero, and indestructible until the end of turn? White Weenie is going to have a field day with that card. Well, let's see what happens in game two. All right, White Weenie plays a first turn Expedition Envoy. That's basically what he has to do. He has to hit a, a drop every single turn in the early game and offends a Kintree kin Spirit. Attacks with the Envoy, takes him down to 18. Because typically you're not going to see a creature from Obzon until turn 3, sometimes turn 4. Kithian triggers Anafenza, puts the counter on Expedition Envoy, plays Mardu Woe Reaper, nothing to remove with the mm. Woe Reaper. Anafenza will trigger, and he'll put it on Kithian or the Woe Reaper. He'll put it on Kithian. And he attacks in for 5. That'll knock him down to 13. Ouch, no green mana. So, no creatures. Another Mardu Ro Wow, Mardu Woe Reaper. And offends the triggers, put it on the one Woe Reaper, throws down a Dragon Hunter, which will put it on the other Woe Reaper. And he'll get to attack for 9, 10, 11. Puts him down to 2, and Kithian flips. Plus one's Anafenza, so we can untap her and give her indestructible. And the Obs on deck concedes. But then again, the white deck had a ridiculously even rollout right there. He had a play every single turn, which is what White Weenie needs to do. But I think we've seen both sides of this matchup do quite well. You know, we saw a match where the OBS on deck did what it needed to do, stabilize, and then take over the game. And we just saw White Weenie completely annihilate this guy in four turns. So, that was White Weenie versus OBS on midrange, and if you liked what you saw, hit that like and subscribe button for me, and I'll see you in the next video.